Hi guys, my name is Ali. I'm a third year medical student here in Southern California. And what I'd like to do today is talk to you a little bit about the general surgery clerkship. I just finished the clerkship and man, was it an amazing experience, you know. I, you know, I was exhausted throughout the experience, I was exhilarated throughout the experience, but overall you're going to learn a lot throughout the rotation. And I'm just going to give you some tips, some resources, and just some general info that I found very useful. And what I'd like to talk to you about first is kind of going in there with the attitude of wanting to learn and wanting to understand what are the indications for surgery. Because Regardless of the fact if you're going to become a surgeon or not, you're going to have a patient sometime in your future that's going to require surgery. Hopefully none of your patients require surgery, uh, but if they do, you're going to want to know the indications for the surgery, the contraindications, and so that'll make your experience that much more immersive and that much more knowledgeable for your future profession. So going in there with that kind of attitude of wanting to learn, wanting to help everybody out, listening to your residents and listening to the attendings and helping your colleagues out, that attitude I think is essential for you to gain a great experience throughout this general, uh, general surgery clerkship. So uh, with that in mind, I'd also like to talk to you about some of the resources that I, I went through. And so this one, I kind of had a mix of resources, but I'll try to be as concise as I can with these re resources. Um, and so I'll go ahead and start with what book that I used in general for the general knowledge, uh, the book that I used for right before the surgeries, right before I got into the OR room, whether I was looking at a patient in the SICU, um, kind of my basic book that I would look at, and that's the Surgical Recall book. Uh, this book has quick facts, quick things that you want to know, not only in terms of anatomy, but also things for uh, general arterial supply, nerve supply, and, um, and the indications for the disease, and some important facts for each, each procedure. So whether or not you're going to have a lap coli, a lap api, uh, anywhere in the body, uh, if you're going to have an, an aortic bifemoral bypass, it's going to have some sort of information that you're going to find useful. So I use that one. I would I uh, would recommend that for you guys as well. Another resource that I kind of used is Dr. Carlos Pestana's audio lecture notes. He actually has a book, but I don't know how I, I received the audio lectures. I, I don't know where I got them from, but basically it goes through his vignettes that are in the book. So if you want to get the book, that's great. Or if you get the audio lectures, I'm not sure how I got them. Um, go ahead and do that. Uh, because he goes through basically burns, he goes through, uh, you know, basically everything that you're going to re be required to know throughout the general surgery rotation. So I would listen to him going to and from work, you know, while I was in the car or whenever I had some free time. So I would supplement my reading in surgical recall with the audio uh, during the times that I, I had off, like to and from work and just in general off time. So these are my two main resources that I used, but if I wanted some additional knowledge, then I used kind of two books, and these are like essentials for general surgery type of books. These are resident level, attending level type resources, um, and I found them very useful because they're well edited. They give you a little more information, not, in, not only in terms of indications and contraindications, but uh, different techniques for different surgeries um, and all these sorts of things. And these two books are Dr. Lawrence. Um, I'm going to go ahead and write the resource down over here. So Je Dr. Lawrence and Dr. Schwartz. So these two books I kind of used for more knowledge, uh, to gain more experience. And, you know, the attendings loved it when you, you would quote Dr. Schwartz or Dr. Lawrence. And so, you know, if you want some more information, go ahead and do those resources as well. Other than that, as long as you go in there wanting to learn and wanting to understand, you're going to really enjoy the experience and um, push through it all. You know, you're paying for this experience, so get your money's worth. Um, with that, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe um, and share this video if uh, you think your friend might find it useful. Comment below if you have any additional tips um, or if you have any comments any additional comments 
And uh, with that, I'd like to say thank you and have a great day.